Hi, Cripple Media family. I'm Atha Zahidi. I am the culture editor for Cripple Media, and today I will be showing you how I do my daily makeup routine, um, why I love makeup, and my disabled hacks, and what it all means to me. Every time that I like to go out for a roll with my Chihuahua Pal Ford, I like to add a little bit of eyeshadow and eyeliner and add some a lot of color to my face. I just love being colorful when I go out. It adds a lot of vibrancy to my life. It adds a conversation starter with uh, people I run into and it just adds a lot to my whole day. Today, I will be showing you how I do my eyeshadow, which will uh, today will be some orange and green. And I will also be adding a little bit of eyeliner too for that little extra pop, you know? And I'll be showing you a couple of disability hacks that I like, especially with me. I have a little trouble using my balance and sometimes my hands kind of, you know, are super clumsy. So I am just messy. And you know what? There is nothing wrong with being messy at all. So starting off, we're gonna do orange. And orange is one of my favorite colors of all time. And the reason for that is as uh, my first memory waking up uh, was in the hospital and I was just bawling. I was about three years old, I think. I was just crying so much that I caught the attention of a nurse. And the first thing they did was just bring me a big bowl of orange sherbet ice cream, which was amazing. It instantly lighted up my life. I got something sweet. It got me to shut up, of course. And ever since then, I just love orange. And I think that was honestly the first sense of community that I had. I added orange only half of my eyes on the outside half um, because I love adding more color. That is my like goal on a day-to-day -day basis, is just having more and more color in my life. And so I really like adding uh, pairing green with orange. So I'm gonna add that on the inside right here. And as I'm adding the green, I'm using the other side of the brush. Uh, so I don't mix the orange together because we will do that later. And this just saves me a lot of time. It's nice to have things in reach, right? Uh, so people, we don't want to just be running around all the time. It's just nice to have what we need here and there, right? And now for like a little bit of extra shine, we're just gonna go as messy as possible, get a big bunch of silver, and then just kind of push it right on the eye. Boom, bam, explosion of vibrancy. Isn't that wonderful? And now when we blend, it'll all kind of even out and we'll have like just a really nice blended look. So now I am just blending here and already you can see kind of the color is evening out and it's not so much an explosion, but it's just a nice sort of gradient that we got going. And now we're gonna add a little bit of eyeliner and this really kind of just completes the whole look. And I absolutely love using brown. I think that kind of matches my skin tone a little bit better. And I'm gonna use this mirror, which I can, you know, hold up easy. It's not too hard. Um, helps with my balance a bit. And I'm gonna balance myself with my elbow here on my lap. And doing this, I can actually start sort of, yeah, just getting it in there. So when I first got that orange ice cream, I before that, I was feeling so alone, you know? And I think most disabled people sometimes feel that, right? Because we're, you know, sometimes the only people that look like us, feel like us, where we're at. And, you know, it's like, it takes just one person to start making you feel like you're part of a community. And that was exactly what I felt when I got that orange ice cream. And ever since then, you know, I've just been wondering, you know, how can I invite more community into my life? And that's one of the reasons why I'm here at Cripple now too. We're just one big family that really support one another. And whenever I wear orange, I sort of remind myself that, you know, community is really important and it's not something we should ever forget. And it just brings a lot of happiness. So now I've got the eyeliner. I think my eyes are like really popping now. And so what we'll do now is probably my favorite step, which is just cleaning up the whole look because I am clumsy. I cannot be expected to perfect things as I'm going. And this hack I learned from like an Instagram video that a friend sent me. But what we can do is we can get some micellar cleansing water, just kind of put it on any sort of, you know, pad. Toilet paper even works too. You can even use um, like baby pads or makeup pads. And what we can do is we can just start removing a little bit of it, right? And now this way, 
you know, I can I don't need as much dexterity, but I can definitely add some really crisp lines. And I don't even really need to look at my face because I can just follow the shape of my, uh, you know, shape of my cheeks and my eyes. And here we go. Here is my completed look. So much color. It's got a nice gradient to it. My eyes pop. And I will now show you my favorite outfits to pair with something like this. For my first outfit, I absolutely love wearing this bodysuit. Showed off, shows off my shoulders and my arms, shows off my back. I love my disabled body. I am so proud of it. And just look at all this color. I'm pairing this with some sea green leather pants, you know, to match with the other colors that I blended in with my eyeshadow. And because it's cold here in Chicago and we're in December, I'm gonna, of course, layer this with this bright orange wool jacket. And wait till you see what this end result looks like because, wow, am I a sight to behold. I am gonna feel like I'm gonna be stunting on everyone when I roll out there with Ford. Now for outfit number two, this is a little bit more muted, still colorful, but you know, monochrome. I got just green, green corduroy blazer, green corduroy pants, but I absolutely love this bodysuit. You can tell I love bodysuits. Um, so still a little bit of a statement piece, of course, but yeah, this way I can let my orange makeup and my orange chair sort of, you know, stand out and be the conversation piece. Yeah, this is probably what I would wear on a night out and I am absolutely loving it. So this will probably be my look for the day. Um, I am going to go snuck on everyone out there. Contact me, let me know. Um, what kind of, you know, what helps you feel more included in your community, what helps you branch out with people. I love hearing stories from disabled people of how they like to connect with others and how they feel connected. And if you want me to show any more makeup tips, uh, leave a comment. Uh, thanks. Bye. <laughs>